Friends have started to study the weather tightness of junctions. We've been unravelling the physics of water leakage past the important components in junctions, such as the rain screen, flashing up stands and air sealing parts of the joints, in order to understand how they might be improved or adapted to buildings in more extreme conditions. This latest article and build talks about our progress to date. We're in a laboratory now that's used to study walls. It's used to study the weather tightness of claddings to keep water out in the first place. So this piece of equipment here can saturate a wall with water and apply an air pressure difference to simulate wind pressures. We've used this piece of equipment to measure the water transfer rates through junctions at different pressures and different rain loads. We started with a window head joint and found that the extent of runoff has a bearing on how the joint performs. So let's turn on the rain. What happens is that this builds up as a film of water flowing down the facade. Uh, this can actually partially block the gap between the cladding and the head flashing. Now air flows driven through that gap by wind pressures can entrain small droplets and carry these up into the cavity closer. It turns out that these are easily mopped up later on by ventilation drying. But even higher rain loads tend to totally block that opening, allowing the joint to flood. Luckily, winds tends to come in gusts and this allows the joint to drain out. This project has studied the weather tightness of a bunch of joints and how the weather tightness depends on properties of the joint and some of the key dimensions. We've yet to tie this back to rain loads on facades and to climate differences, but you can see where this is heading. It's heading towards demystifying junction design and adding some science in the form of the physics of air and moisture transport.